I was thoroughly disappointed when I initially heard Drew Brees' comments. And part of the reason was, obviously, I look at when someone brings up the American flag and disrespect to our country as it pertains to Colin Kaepernick's kneeling as a dog whistle. I think that's you basically saying that you want to ignore the racial injustice. You want to ignore everything that he's already told you that he's been kneeling for. You want to ignore a peaceful protest and the actual reason why it is taking place. I wonder to myself, after watching that apology on Instagram, would Drew Brees do this if there was no backlash? And you just heard Max Kellerman already say that he's had similar comments before. So my next question is, did your heart actually change? Because racism is a heart problem, and you have to have your heart in the right place. Uh, it's a very confusing time right now when a comment like that can be made so instantly. And when the question was asked, he was vehemently opposed to the idea of kneeling and immediately correlated it to disrespecting the country. And I, I wonder what conversations he had already had with Michael Thomas. Had you spoken to the players that had helped you become a 13-time pro bowler? Have you spoken to the players who have helped you become a Super Bowl champion? Um, and in those discussions, were you listening? Because we are all throwing around, we're listening as the thing that we're doing right now to create change. And so if you listened, then Drew Brees, shame on you for not actually using that knowledge to speak some of the racial inequalities out when that question was asked to you. And if you didn't ask the question and spend time with Michael Thomas and other teammates discussing you know, racial injustice when we watched other individuals, Philando Castile, Tamir Rice, um, go down and be killed and murdered in a country that we should all be respectful of, then shame on you for not having that conversation. But either way it goes, you were not doing the right things before, and I really wonder why the apology is happening now. That being said, as a black well, person in America, yeah. we are all we have to do is tolerate it. That's what we've been taught. We have to tolerate it. I have to accept his apology at the end of the day. Um, I have to hope that he's going to do better, and it translates into marching into his front office and having conversations with the New Orleans Saints. Let's talk about how do we diversify our front office, our organization, and move forward. But again, after, in 24 hours, what really changed? Was it Twitter fingers? Was it backlash? Or was it a heart change that made Drew mm -hmm. Brees come back out with that apology? Well, well, Maria, you're asking questions. Let me answer it for you. I don't think for one second mm -hmm. that Drew Brees would have, would have issued an apology or felt the need to change his opinion if he was not confronted by the vitriol, mm -hmm. the shrapnel of criticism, and the intense rebuke that he was exposed to. So because of that, but it is plausible that after being confronted by that, you're like, damn, I didn't see it that way. Damn, I didn't realize <laughs> it affected people that way. I have no clue, which brings me to a bigger issue. Because one of the things that I think, and I said this yesterday, Maria, that we have black people have to come to, con to conclusions of, I'm hopeful that white folks will understand. I'm hopeful <laughs> that fairness, equality is something that will ultimately reign supreme. I'll be damned if I expect it. I never have. Not since I came out of the womb. Mm -hmm. I've never expected it. I don't expect it now. For most of us, I just don't. <laughs> and even those of us who get it, you got to scratch and claw your way. And even when you get to the top of the heap, all of a sudden, blink for a second, and somebody white will be put above you in the blink of an eye. We understand this. Which brings me to the other point, Max, that you made, and I appreciate the definition that you provided, Max, about nationalism compared to patriotism. I love the fact that you highlighted that because I don't think that a lot of people see the difference, but especially those who call themselves patriots. They're actually engaging in nationalism. So then this begs the question, are you really ignorant to the definition and the meaning between the two, or does it genuinely gen genuinely means something different than what Max highlighted. Because I know people I, I have, that call Stephen themselves a. and yep. hold on, hold on. I know people who call themselves and consider themselves patriots that literally would use your definition and say it applies to them when all they engage in is nationalism. And so as a result 100%. of that, that's where the challenge comes in. Because if they're able to sit up there and say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, that's entirely different than saying, I do know, and I don't give a damn. They don't, we, we well, don't know which side they fall on. That's where the challenge lies. Let, Maria, this is for you. 
Um, I, when you yep. say change hearts, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to me that Drew Brees has a bad heart here. I could be wrong. I don't know him personally. I've interacted with him several times over the years, but I don't really know him. I know mainly what we see and read and, and hear. And I like my interactions right. with him. He's charismatic. You can see how he's a leader. And I like the way that he apologized. But I think when the atmosphere is such that nationalism, America love it or leave it kind of, uh, it takes the place, you know, is smuggled in under the guise of patriotism. Then you get to lazy thinking, even if your heart is in the right place or would otherwise be were you were you forced to really think it out. Um, it's easy to do that. Suddenly the atmosphere changes. Suddenly a lazy kind of passing off of nationalism as patriotism doesn't fly. Now Drew Brees is forced to confront those real definitions and what it means. Hey, Colin Kaepernick kneels before the flag, Drew Brees, forget about how they try to conflate it with military service and all that. That's a patriotic act. That's saying, I think we can do better. It's respectful. I think we can do better. But, but if you are nationalistic about it, you say, no, how dare you? How dare you say anything bad about the place in which you live, about America? In fact, it forces Drew Brees and people like him maybe to really consider, maybe for the first time, those kind of things. And so I think it's really also about changing minds in a guy like Drew Brees' case, and not just hearts, unless you suspect maybe, maybe for good reason, I don't know about his heart.